After creating a video file, you may notice that the file size is quite large. In order to make the file size more manageable, you need to use what is called a transcoder. That is a program that takes a source file and then makes it smaller. Uh, and particularly, uh, transcoders are known for changing the file type of a media file. For example, you can turn a video file that is a .avi into a .mp4. And I have just opened up a program called Media Coder. And after opening this program, uh, it will be down in your taskbar for currently running programs. You'll need to click on that once and then it will show up. I'm going to demonstrate how to use this to make a video to make a video file smaller or into a different format. And I'm going to start by discussing the configuration of this program. This program allows you to control two primary uh, aspects of the new video file that's going to be created, and uh, that is the uh, video encoding options and the audio encoding options. The left hand side where my mouse is right now contains a tabbed menu and clicking on tabs of this menu will affect the menu which is displayed on the right hand side. We'll start with audio. Most of the default settings are fine to use. For source, I use uh, default. For encoder, I use lame MP3. That's a very efficient and high quality encoder. The resampling rate that you use does not affect the size of the video. Um, that's just uh, for sampling only, not for actual encoding. And it's the bit rate used for actual encoding that influences the size of your video. And uh, that is on the right hand side. Um, if your videos are coming up If your videos aren't coming out with audio that is loud enough, then I recommend setting the gain to 20 decibels. To control the encoding, um, bit rate, you will need to use the interface on the right hand side you'll want to experiment with different options. Make sure that stereo channel is selected. Under the video tab on the left hand side I recommend using a quality based mode with maximum quality. I like to use MP4 format or MPEG-4 container. I usually stick with default. The container allows you to change the file format that you will be using such as AVI or MP4. Under picture you can adjust whether or not the video source file will be transcoded into 
a smaller video. For example, I can turn a large sized video into something that's only 320 by 240. Multiple options are offered. The smaller resize option that you use, the smaller your video size output. You can also use some crop options. I don't use those. Under frame rate, you can select how many frames per second. If you're doing high motion video, then 20 or 30 is recommended. Low motion video, I often like to set that much lower. Aspect ratio is the height to size ratio of your video output. Depending on other options under video, different options will appear under the picture tab. Additional options may also appear after selecting the video file that you're going to work with. In order to do so, go to a folder which contains your target video, click and drag, and then release into this area. After configuration, click on the Start button. Depending on the options that you have used, this may take some time. For example, I'm using a 22 megabyte file here and the time estimation is about 18 minutes for the options which I have selected. This is very processor intensive, so I recommend finding settings that work by using small video files. And after you find your favorite settings, then do your transcoding as batch jobs late at night. Uh, drop uh, multiple video files into the job list right here and then just click on start. Media Coder is a very advanced program. There's a lot of options available to it and so it's going to have a bit of a learning curve to it. It's not a program that you usually just learn in one day or in one sitting. So don't be, in, don't be discouraged. Give it plenty of time and also do some research.